for stupid Americans. How's it going, guys? We missed you. We didn't post a video yesterday because mail day is every other week. Here's the P.O. box, it's also in the description below. But guys, it's probably the last time I'm gonna promote this. I'm doing an iTunes giveaway for my podcast. Okay, go to the podcast section, type in Winebox Poppy, and all you have to do is write a five-star review. And then you're instantly entered to win this t-shirt. That's it, for free. Yeah, your chances are pretty good, not gonna lie. Who are we making fun of today? What music was that? What the fuck was that? Whatever. I'm excited. Fuck you, Mohammed. Why am I so mad at him today? What did he do? I'm gonna meet with my friend Diamond. Your friend Diamond? How much are you paying her to hang out with you right now? Because uh, she has something she wants to talk to me about. I hope she's okay. Honestly, that did not seem genuine whatsoever. going on so your wife has been writing me almost every day are you fucking this Mohammed you smash man America is great when I'm at work my phone just rings non-stop so Danielle has been contacting me through Facebook writing me non-stop I think it's a little crazy like definitely not gonna make me feel bad for you or anything. See, Danielle, I'm not saying this chick is hot, right? But I'm saying, compared to you, I'm the hottest woman on earth. What she say to you? She told me, you need to watch out. She just said, like, you try to use me and... Who? Me using you? Yeah, that you try to use me. Who knows? Probably for sex, is my guess. Diamond. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying she's a prostitute based off of her name. That's exactly what I'm saying, actually. Oof! Oof! I'm so sorry about that. She posted a photo of me saying, oh, this is Muhammad's new girl, and uh, I was ugly, and how I look like a man, I'm like... Danielle called you ugly? <laughs> yeah, that would hurt. That'd be like Danielle telling me I pee during sex, which is true, but I'm a virgin. You wish I did. How she can say that? She doesn't even know me. I know. How could she say you're ugly? She doesn't even know you. Her saying you look like a man isn't incredibly far-fetched. I, I could get some tranny vibes, like in a good way. Like, oh, that's a good, that's a good tranny. Is that, <laughs> was that politically correct? When Danielle starts texting somebody, she goes with nonstop. She can send you a hundred message in couple minutes. That's normal for her. I have no idea what you just said. How about this, Mohammed? Next time you start fucking um, a prostitute, you tell her, I don't know how she got that prostitute's number, by the way, but just give them my number. Give Danielle my number. Hit me, DM me. I will give you my fucking number. I'll talk to her. I'll talk to her till she dies. So like, probably five months. Yeah, I can't get these messages anymore. I think she's like obsessed with me. Like, if I can't have you, nobody can have you type thing. It's too much. It's, no, yeah. it bothers me. Yeah, and I know it. It bothers me. Mm -hmm. I have this deep feeling that this conversation is going to go absolutely nowhere, but them going back and forth being like, this is a problem. This bothers me. This needs to stop. They both agree, and then they just leave. And I am so embarrassed. I am, I'm so embarrassed. I want Danielle out of my life. I have to go to the court coming up soon, and... How you feeling? I just want to finish with Daniel because I feel like I did a big mistake. It's the biggest mistake I did in my life, you know? You did do a big mistake. You know you had sex with her, right? Do you think that haunts him? Do you think he washes his dick one more time every day? Do you think we can get Danielle deported? Just put her on a fucking island? If she survives for nine years, she can come back. To me, that's fair. Because to me, she's honestly just a walking terrorist attack. And she's on the internet spreading rumors and lying to people and every day how people start being nasty with me about what Daniel is saying about me on the internet. I feel like what's gonna stop them of doing something like 
physical to me, like hurting me physically. You think people are such big fans of Danielle that they are willing to run up on you and beat the fuck out of you? If that was to happen, honestly, you deserve it. Like, just let it happen. Like, if, if dudes pull up on me, get out of a van with baseball bats and ski masks on and go, This is for Danielle! I'm not gonna fight. I'm not even gonna run. It's gonna take it. This is for the whole cast of 90 Day Fiance! And they're just throwing copyright strikes at me. I feel I'm not safe. You you genuinely are scared for your safety? Like, are you serious? You, it's, you fucked her. Be careful because I don't want anything bad to happen to you. You don't want anything bad to happen to him? You know he had sex with her. And hopefully, hopefully. I am a little worried for him. Like, I really hope that, you know, everything works out for him and he gets this divorce and he can just be happy. All right. All right, good luck. Wow, what a normal, caring friendship conversation that was. That was so real life and realistic. Man, they totally couldn't have had that talk over text message. Hey, your ex, wait, sorry, let me get my real phone that I totally use all the time every single day that's actually mine that I call people with. Hey, your fat pig of an ex-wife is messaging me. Him. Okay. That's it. Game over. Click. Bye, bitch. Okay, guys. Wow. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, roll that fucking Twitch clip, bitch! You look really taken back right now. Mwah. <sighs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> We'll have a wonderful time on the wine box poppy twitch stream. He's on fire, gentlemen. That's what it is. He's on I want to kiss him. Oh! From this world. Impressive. Excellent. Whoa. Killing three. Impressive. Come on, baby. Oh shit! Oh, I was about to 